So this today ends our month-long focus uh, of our mission work in Honduras. So on behalf of the EAC for Limpira team, which I have the pleasure to serve on, I just want to say thank you to our child sponsors. As of about a half an hour ago, we're now at 100% sponsorship. Thank you, Jesus. And I, and I want to say thank you to the EAC for Limpira team who's worked extra hard this year since we purchased all of the school and hygiene supplies in advance to make it easier and, and optimally affordable for our sponsors. So thank you. And I'm super excited to say thank you to Sowers for Pastors and welcome Alan Sowers from Honduras who's joined us this morning. Good morning. And also Kirsten Sowers is here and Russell Sowers is here and um, Estrus is also here as one of the workers in Honduras. So we just welcome them. Alan, uh, EAC has partnered with Sowers for Pastors and also a sister church that is led by Pastor Lorenzo, who also oversees 15 other churches in the area of the five schools where all of our sponsored kids go. How many sister church relationships do you have, and how many backpacks does that equate to delivering every year? Okay, so we have six sister uh, sponsorship programs uh, that each have multiple uh, locations. And then we have, so we dis distribute about uh, 2,500 uh, backpacks each year in those programs. In addition, we give out over 1,000 backpacks to pastors' kids uh, so that they can go to school as well. Awesome. That's fabulous. <laughs> Our sponsorship also includes two vitamin fortified meals per week. Now, I've heard some incredible numbers about the amount of kids and people that you feed twice a week in Honduras. What, how many do you feed? Well, the number varies uh, depending on the time of the year and the, even year to year. Uh, we have been as high as 14,000 that we did on a regular basis. And then during COVID, we actually hit numbers in the 30 and 40,000 range uh, of kids that we were feeding. So it does go up and down depending on, yeah. Incredible. And that's the Sowers family serving in Honduras, stepping up where the need arises. That's just incredible. Alan, we know that child sponsorship is just a part of what Sours for Power, Sours for, I always say that. They're just powerful to me. Sours for Pastors does. What is your primary mission in Honduras and how does child sponsorship tie to that? Okay, so if you go sowers for pastors, uh, we are uh, there to empower the pastors or to help the pastors. And I'm sorry, what was your second question? <laughs> <laughs> so we... Oh, go ahead. I, I don't remember my second question. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm so sorry. Where are we, Alan? Okay, so we know that child sponsorship isn't all you do. So yes. what is your primary mission yeah. in Honduras and how does child sponsorship tie to Oh that? yeah, okay, I'm sorry. I'm uh, sorry too. That was my <laughs> mistake. Uh, so we um, basically, it empowers the pastor at that program. Uh, it elevates him and uh, in the community. So he has a chance now to go into the public schools and share uh, the gospel there in the public schools. And like we always say, he gets a chance to feed the kids both physically and spiritually, and so that's a huge deal, and right in the public schools. Fantastic. I also know you have pastor training school and that you do Bible distribution. Can you tell us about that? Okay, so yeah, uh, pastor training school, we've had 125 pastors that have graduated. These are our pastors typically who don't have enough biblical education, and so they go to our, our pastor's training school, and we have currently 80 pastors that are going to our pastor's training school, uh, so that's real exciting. And then the Bible bookstore, we have helped, uh, we, we've sold almost 60,000 Bibles or major study uh, Bible materials, mostly uh, Bibles uh, the, at the uh, Bible bookstore. 
fantastic. And I also know that you help pastors with motorcycles or horses and also roof construction and churches. Tell us a little about that. Okay, so imagine with me for just a moment that you are a pastor and you have a church, you're, you're working there, but you see a community down the road and you want to plant a church down there, but it's six miles away or you have one over there, it's eight miles away. And so we help the pastor. Now we don't give him the motorcycle, but we help him purchase a motorcycle or if he can't afford the motorcycle or the train's too rough, uh, we do horses or mules. And to date we've done 400 uh, motorcycles and 70 uh, pa uh, horses or mules. And then uh, we also help with church construction. And again, it's uh, skin in the game, sweat equity, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the pastor and his congregation helps put up the walls. And then we just help with the, just the roof. And uh, we've done 200 uh, churches to date. So, so Fantastic. that's really So as I mentioned, today wraps up a month long of having a lobby full of backpacks and 100% sponsorship. Um, in closing, Alan, what would you like to leave with EAC this morning? First of all, thank you so, so much for empowering Pastor Lorenzo down there and, and helping his team uh, uh, do the sponsorship, help with the backpacks, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, we, you know, obviously, thank you for the financial support and being a part of all these programs. But also, we just really want to thank you so, so much for your prayers. Uh, we really, really appreciate it, and we really think that is, that is like the thing that, that really helps us out is the prayer. So thank you so much. Thank you. And let's go ahead and pray for uh, Alan and our service today. Father God, we thank you for Sours for Pastors and all they're doing in Honduras. We ask that you continue to bless their ministry, uh, continue to bless their family, and we just thank you for the partnership that we have here at EAC. EAC is a church that doesn't just talk about missions, but we act, and we love the fact that we're engaged both locally, locally and globally. And Lord, uh, as we just continue now, please open our hearts and our minds to what uh, Pastor Connor has for us today, and also open our hearts and minds for um, communion as well. We love you. We praise you. We want our lives to honor you. In Jesus' precious name, amen.